Okay, now I'm definitely playing with power. Because that's how they used to say in 1985, I think, when when these guys first debuted. That's history. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Mario Marco here. Good morning for the first time. Yeah, it's first thing in the morning. You know what you're thinking. So, yeah. Well, I decided to share my thoughts on something else that's happening this year. Let me give you a simple hint while I show you what I mean. Da, 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 da. That's right. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share how I feel about playing Pokemon over the years. That's right, because from my anticipation of Pokemon Sun and Moon happening, why don't I share with you my memories, thoughts, my experiences, my favorite mo and also my favorite moments on the Pokemon games. So for this, I'm gonna focus about the more recognizable or traditional Pokemon games that's been released over the years. Whether if they're originals, remakes, or whatever, you get the point. And sometimes, some, sometimes the remakes are the best versions. Well, you may or may not agree with it, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, so let's get started. So I'm, I decided to do this in chronological order. From from the Pokemon regions, I mean. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, why don't I begin with the Kanto region? Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. Yep, these are the very first Pokemon traditional Pokemon games that started it all for me. I started Pokemon Red. It's the, first, it's the very first GBA game I ever got. When I got this, it it changed my life of gaming for me. I mean, I I couldn't stop. I mean, it's just it's just the, the 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 bigger worlds, the cities, the graphics, the the characters, the Pokemon. Everything about it. I mean, yeah. And then I figured the very best, the very best part about Pokemon games like these is catching legendaries and battling gym leaders in Leap Four, even the champion. This, this I'm all trained for. Yeah. So, yeah, I know what you're thinking. How come there are two versions of the same region, Fire Red and Leaf Green? Well, fun fact, Fire Red and Leaf Green are actually remakes of the original first two traditional Pokemon games that started it all, Red and Blue. I know what you're thinking. If it should be blue, it should be supposed to be like Aqua Blue, but instead they change it to Leaf Green. Uh, but it's okay, what are you going to do? Alright, next regions. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Now, these two are actually remakes of the original Gold and Silver, and, they, and, and they're, they're pretty, like, revolutionary back then. How? Well, they feature a whole new region, whole new set of Pokemon, new gym leaders, new Elite Four, new champion, new, new places to explore, new Pokemon battles to, to be ready. And best part... It now show it now shows legendary Pokemon in in the front. See, the very best part about um, about about Pokemon covers is that they sh is that they show their two main legendaries. For Heart Gold, they show Ho Oh, it's a sun fiery, majestic bird, and two. Loot and Soul Silver, it's Lugia. He's more of a, an underwater mythical guardian of sorts. And yeah, I know it's 
Yeah, I know it's getting loud and all, but you, got it. you get it. So, yeah. When I said the remakes is sometimes better than the original versions, those two are proof. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's like very well done. The, the, way, the way how they like remade the story, the, the gameplay, the graphics, it's just... Oh my god, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, you get it. <laughs> okay, now... Okay, that's all there is to the Johto region for gold and silver. Next up, moving to the Hoenn region. So for the 3DS, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Yep. These two are actually remakes of the original Ruby and Sapphire released for the GBA. And those games have proven to be yet another revolution for the entire series. I mean, I mean, it featured double battles, whole new graphics, new worlds or whatever. But as for as for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they literally did yet yet, yet another major they did yet another major revolution to that to that major revolution. To to make it to make it even more revolutionary, even more epic, even more exploring, daring, you get it. Oh man. And the two legendaries for the Hoenn region. Groudon and Kyogre. Those two are are actually the uh, are actually best known as the as the rival legendaries because when it comes to like primordial opposites of nature, they always had to like duke it out, battle each other. And Kyogre and Groudon are living proof. So, yeah, so. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next region. And I know what you think. Oh yeah. Uh, just so you know. Uh, aside from the original Ruby and Sapphire, there's also Pokemon Emerald. Well, I figured if they remade Ruby and Sapphire, shouldn't they do the same with Emerald? Well, no, they do not. So someday, when the time comes, I may get my I may get my hands on the on the original Pokemon Emerald for the GBA. Well, it's only fair. I mean, since they're not doing a remake of it, I guess I might as well to get let. I guess I might as well to get the original. See how that turns out. Okay, next, right here, is in the Sinnoh region. Now this, this is what I call majestic. We have diamond, pearl, and platinum. That's right. And the three legendaries, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina. Yeah, you can see right there. Yeah. Fun fact. This the uh, uh, this generation of traditional Pokemon games is uh, is actually among one one of the first DS games I've ever played and it's been around me. For like, for like in my in my late childhood. So yeah, it's ever since my late childhood, and man, it's it, it's really epic, you know. And their legendaries, her names. Oh wait, did, didn't I tell you? Legend, you know what? Who cares if I forget? So. Okay, Dialga said to control all of time. Palkia control all of space. And Giratina is actually the best of both worlds, so they say. So <laughs> it's exactly the same thing as they did with the original Ruby and Sapphire. First the two games, and then they make a third one to match them both. How? I'll start with I'll start with Pokemon Emerald, and now they did the same. Now I'll turn it into Pokemon Platinum. Pretty unique, don't you think? 
Yeah, I should know. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, new Pokemon, new legendaries to catch, even old school favorites come across if you want to. Unforgettable. So, moving on to the next region. In the Unova region. And it's literally a whole new region I've never before seen Pokemon. I mean, I mean, massive cities, massive new legendaries, massive battles to complete. It's pretty groundbreaking when I first played them. I'm sorry with the talking. The, you don't want to know. It's... It's between myself, so... Okay. Pokemon Black. White. Black 2. And White 2. So. Pokemon Black and White. Are, I've, I've always become such yet another major revolution to the series. I mean, the first time in a long time. It, since, since, like, since, like, Pokemon... Gold and silver, the originals. It showed never before seen Pokemon, literally never before seen Pokemon that no one has ever encountered. And man, I mean the, I mean the, the, the two legendaries, Reshiram and Zekrom, literally become quite the most popular legendaries of one of the early most recent generations, which is a long time ago. So. Yeah, I have to, yeah, I should know. I have to admit. Okay, and finally, for the first time, they actually have their own sequels. Black 2 and White 2. How? Okay, here are the facts. One, like well, Meshuram and Zekrom actually have a third legendary counterpart, Qrem, because if that were true, then they should be making Pokemon Gray. But instead, they did these. How? Huh? Another fun fact is that Black Two and White Two actually actually takes place two years after the after their predecessors. Yeah, two years ago. Now two years have passed, and look how that turned out. Kyurem has the Kyurem is the first legendary Pokemon which has the ability to fuse with either one of those two legendaries. Black QM and White QM. QM is rumored to set and QM is said to be rumored to be the most strongest dragon type in all in all of the world. And these are why. As the power to transform into the, as the power to transform to these two forms of the essence of Reshiram and Zekrom. AKA Black QM and White QM. Yeah. Again, I, I had no idea they, they ever actually do something like this. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I know it's getting annoying. Either me talking because I woke up, because because I woke up too late or too early, or me burping almost all the time. Either way, I don't care. All right, this is all about the Unova region. Now, moving on to the most recent region that literally set the standards for, for the most amazing major revolution of them all. Here, we got Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. I know what's so special about those two Pokemon games. For the first time, they, they, they're the first in the series to ever feature Mega Evolutions. That's right, Mega Evolutions. From, from legendary Pokemon to, to Pokemon that we all know and love and easy to catch. Oh my god, man, that is just... That is just amazing. I mean, I mean Mega Evolving Pokemon, to think that you can do the same with legendary Pokemon, that's, that's, that's pretty epic. Man, and... 
And current two legendaries right here. Xerneas and Ivelta. This Pokemon is all, is all about life giving. And this one is all about taking away taking away life and destroying it. So in other words, these two Pokemon are like life and death. And uh, they even have a third legendary Pokemon named Zygarde. Well, if that were true, then the third one should be called Pokemon Z. You know, from the chronological letters. X, Y, and Z. But, but they didn't do it, but it's okay. So, oh yeah, another fun fact. Ever since they remade Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they put the... Mega Evolution Persona into it to give even more new legendary and traditional Pokemon to Mega Evolve. But you know what's so great and special about Groudon and Kyogre? They didn't they didn't Mega Evolve. They Primal Evolve. How? Their primal forms are like are, are like pretty much even more ancient than the Mega Evolutions. Because, well, if you let them hold on to their signature orbs, the red orb and blue orb, for as long as they hold them, they will automatically activate their, their primal forms. Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre. What primal means is that, is that they're the very ancient forces of all of nature. And that would, that would make their, their rival battle even more fierce. If it were like spread throughout the world, but man, it's just it's just really epic, you know. No doubt about it. So, <laughs> well, this is all the traditional Pokemon I have to show you, and I'm really looking forward to Pokemon Sun and Moon because I hope that I hope I have a little theory. If they are doing Sun and Moon, they should make a third Pokemon game to combine them. I would call it Pokemon Eclipse. How? No? Sun and Moon merge together into one, then the Eclipse happens. I could be right for once, or I could be wrong even if it's for once, but either way, time will tell. So. Yeah, this is uh, all I have to show you about, uh, about about my best moments in history, my my Pokemon traditional game collecting and all that. Wait, I'm still awaiting my anticipation for Sun and Moon to come out November eighteenth of this year. I liked I liked how it felt. Two new legendaries showing new never before seen Pokemon. Who knows what? It, who knows what stories it'll hold? So, I can't wait. Anyway, uh, I gotta go right now because, well, as you can see, I got stuff to do. So, don't forget to subscribe for me if you wanna see if you wanna see more of me for more content, and uh, and sure to comment down below and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And say whatever you like. And if and yeah, well, and uh, and if I've been offered turn, if I've been offered turn shout outs to receive even more subscribers, I I think I think I'll be ready to earn them. And I can even I can even wait like days if I have to. So. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta, gotta go clean this up and resume where I left off in Zelda Twilight Princess HD or Kirby Planet Robobot. But I'll decide which one I start off with. So you get the point. So anyway, see you guys next time. And until then, I got you covered. So for now, Mario Marker out and happy 20th anniversary, Pokemon. Oh, before I go. Fun fact, I heard that Pokemon debuted in like 1996, and the fun fact, 
1996 is the year of my birth, when I was born. When I found out about it, I was like, am I destined to catch them all? I could be right for once, or I could be wrong, even if it's for once, but... Either way, we'll see. So, yeah, a uh, pretty, pretty strange fact that I have to share with you, so... Okay, uh, okay, once again, don't forget to subscribe to me if you want to see more of me doing more stuff like this. Be sure to comment down below, you can give me a thumbs up, or you can give me a thumbs up, or, or a thumbs down, or both at the same time. So, see you all next time, until then I got you covered, so for now, Mario Moko out, and happy 20th anniversary to, to all of Pokemon. To all, to all Pokemon fans, including me.